Hi guys and welcome to Crocktober, another Crockpot meal. Uh, this time I'm using my old Crockpot. I've had this thing for about 20 years, but it's a bit smaller. I'm making a lunch dish. And for that you will need some pasta. I will have the recipe linked in the description box for all of them uh, if I have it. If not, I'll just write it out. So you need some pasta. I'm gonna. I'm using the um, penne rigatoni. I think it's penne. It's the Durham wheat semolina pasta. Then I'm using one thing of passata, which is strained tomatoes. Uh, one thing of tomato and basil. So I'm not putting as much basil as they're calling for because this one has basil. And I'm substituting cottage cheese for ricotta just because I had cottage cheese on hand and I didn't want to, uh, it needed to be used. Two eggs, some um, parmesan. So here's my basil. And then I'm going to mix my, ricotta, my cheese, eggs, and basil now i'm just realizing this won't be big enough so i'll grab a bigger bowl and then you're also going to need some mozzarella or some cheese to top it up at the end of the cooking so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to grease up my crock pot with some olive oil You can also spray this if you have a non-stick cooking spray. And I'm gonna mix up my ricotta cheese and basil and eggs. Now I'm going to mix both of my pasta sauces. I'm going to add layers so I'm gonna start with a little bit of pasta sauce spread it around just to show you Then more sauce to cover all the pasta. Then I'm going to add about half the cheese, uh, cottage cheese mixture. about half Parmesan. Now I'm going to add more pasta and the rest of it, spread it out. More cheese, I mean more sauce. and the rest of the cottage cheese mixture. And then rest of the ricotta, I mean the Parmesan. So there it is, now I'm going to turn it on 
so this slow cooker goes at 4, 6, 8, and 10. I'm going to put it for 4 hours on high and I'm going to start checking it at 2 hours because you just want to cook it until the pasta is done. So here it is, I mixed it all up. I'm going to serve it with a side of garlic bread and it took 2 hours. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you're enjoying my Crocktober meals, make sure you are subscribed and your notification bell is on. And if you're stopping by my channel for the very first time, I would love it if you consider subscribing. And until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching.